In the previous lecture, we had discussion on Z parameters and now we are going to solve one problem in which we will understand the process to calculate the Z parameters. So according to the problem, we are required to find the Z parameters of the below given two port network. So this is the two port network given in the problem and we are required to find the Z parameters. This means we need to find the Z parameter matrix which is a 2 by 2 matrix having the elements Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. So we need to find the four elements of the Z parameter matrix and there are two steps required to calculate the Z parameters. In step number one we will assign the currents in all the branches of the network. So let us assign the currents in all the branches. I1 is the current in this branch. I2 is the current in this branch. And at this node, applying KCL, we will have I1 plus I2 as the current in this branch. And V1 is the voltage between these two terminals and V2 is the voltage between these two terminals. In step number 2 we will develop the input KVL equation and the output KVL equation. So let us develop the input KVL equation. We will have plus V1 plus V1 then we have minus 2i1 minus 2i1 after this we have minus 4i1 plus i2 minus 4i1 plus i2 equal to 0 from here we will have v1 equal to 6i1 plus 4i2 let's say this is equation number 1 so we are done with the input KVL equation and now we will develop the output KVL equation. We will have plus V2 minus 6I2. After this we have minus 4I1 plus I2 minus 4I1 plus I2 equal to 0. From here we will have V2 equal to 10 i2 plus 4 i1 and i will write 4 i1 first and then i will write plus 10 i2 let's say this is equation number two now if you remember the previous lecture i told you to note down two equations the first equation was v1 equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and the second equation was v2 equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 now when you compare equation number one with this equation you will find z11 is equal to 6 z12 is equal to 4 so we can say that the impedance matrix will have the first element equal to 6 and the second element equal to 4 and after this when you compare the equation number 2 with this equation you will find z21 is equal to 4 and z22 is equal to 10 so the second row will have the elements 4 10 so this is our answer so i hope the solution and the steps required to solve the question is clear to you now we will move on to the homework problem which i have taken from esc 2013 electrical paper and in this problem you are required to find the z parameter matrix and there are four options given so try to solve the problem and once you have your answer post it in comment section.